At 19, this Afghan woman, known publicly only as Aisha, has become a symbol of courage worldwide. Her Taliban husband and relatives cut off her nose and ears and left her to die in the Afghan mountains, punishment for trying to escape years of abuse. She's now being treated in the United States and wears a prosthetic nose. She's awaiting surgery to fix her nose and ears permanently. Anita McBride of the U.S. Afghan Women's Council. I was discouraged that something like this uh, could happen and still happen. The status of women changed after U.S.-led forces drove the Taliban from power in 2001. Advocate Lyric Thompson of the organization Women for Women International says before the Taliban government forced women into burqas, many urban Afghan women were educated and cosmopolitan. Women dressed um, uh, often in very Western styles. Many skirts were, you know, certainly visible on the streets of Kabul. When the Taliban took over the government in the mid 90s, strict laws banned girls from schools and women from the workplace. Immediately, their lives changed, and it was horrible um, to be able to go out on the street one day and the next day not, or be completely covered and not know how to wear uh, the burqa and barely be able to see. Anyone who broke the law would be severely punished. When U.S. forces entered Afghanistan, things changed again. It was a moment of hope and a moment of opportunity where there was a real sense of a new beginning for all of Afghanistan, including but not limited to women. There has been progress in so many ways. You have two and a half million children going to school now. You do have schools opening up all over the country. You do have women who are running for parliament, who are serving in parliament. But many women still face violence at home. To escape the abuse, these women tried to set themselves on fire. Violence against women is a tremendous issue in Afghanistan. Advocates say they fear what will happen to women's rights if the Afghan government succeeds in reconciling with the Taliban and reintegrates insurgent fighters into society. Anita McBride says the international community needs to continue to pressure the government and make women's rights a priority. Elizabeth Lee, VOA News.